India, in a country with over a billion people, it's easy to forget that animals live here too. But animals live here too. And just how much do we know about these animals? Well, India is a country full of surprises, and its wildlife is no exception. So let's get out there and start exploring the only country left on Earth with native lions and tigers and bears. Oh, wow. Shit. My name is Ashwin, and I'm a seasoned nature expeditionaire. From my vast experiences, I've gained a wealth of knowledge that I will now pass on to you. From caving in New Zealand to discovering wild animals in Africa, from the coldest corners in Alaska to the hottest deserts in Texas, I'll bring you along on my journey through this planet we call Earth, because this is Ashwin Enjoys Nature. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Ashwin, I've already seen the Jungle Book, the Jungle Book, the Jungle Book, and the Jungle Book. So what more could you possibly teach me about Indian wildlife? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I know more than you. Today we're going to head to Periyar National Park in Kerala, India. Our goal today is to see an elephant, or as they are called in Malayalam, Amei. On the way, we'll see a bunch of other animals as well, so I think you're in for a real treat. So let's get out there and start exploring. From Kwachi, getting to Periyar is a cinch with public transportation. It's a simple seven-hour open-air bus drive through narrow roads and unmarked bus stations that will cost you just 135 rupees. And for some perspective, 135 rupees is equivalent to roughly 4,700 pugriks. Periyar is most well-known for its lake scenery, but I decided to first navigate through the jungle with a local guide. Soon after, I spotted my first animal, the gaur. Luckily, I had freshened up on my Malayalam because my guide began trying to teach me about gaurs in the native language. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, what my guide Babesh is trying to say is that cows are actually pretty sacred in India. In fact, it's actually illegal to consume beef in India. And the reason's mostly oh, no, because... no, no, no. You can eat beef. You can eat. Sorry, what? Yeah, in, in Kerala, you can eat beef. No problem. No problem. <laughs> no, you're probably thinking of a buffalo. Uh, domesticated cow you can't eat in India. That would no, be illegal. No, no, no. That would be illegal. Christians eat beef. They all eat here. They all eat. No problem. No problem. Christians eat beef here. <laughs> Did you know you could speak English? I was sensing a bit of a language barrier between me and Bavesh. Things were getting a little lost in translation, so I decided to venture on a solo hike near the lake. While trekking the lake, I saw the unique Sambar deer. Now you're probably thinking, Ashwin, these look just like normal deer. Well, let's move on then. Just a couple boars. Oh, come on. When British colonialists first arrived to India, they were quick to call it a primitive country because of the many species of primates that live here. The most frequent primate that I encountered was the bonnet macaque, because it is the most populous and has an affinity for people. But thanks to my cunning sleuthing skills, I got to encounter the rare Nilgiri Langur. The Nilgiri Langur... Wait, how do we know this is the Nilgiri Langur? Hey, Kevin, how do we know this is the Nilgiri Langur and not the lion-tailed macaque? But they're, they're both black. <laughs> they, they both have a brown mane. Yeah, yeah, it has a long tail. That's how we know it's the Langer? Alright. Uh, let's start over then. The Nilgiri Langer- Ooh, be careful. You don't want to get stung by a scorpion. I had been searching for elephants for over a day now, but I had shit to show for it. I finally realized that in Periyar, the lake is the heart of the action. Now you're probably thinking, Ashwin, what's the difference between an African elephant and an Asian elephant? Well. It's pronounced Ashwin. I've said it several times during this episode. African elephants are larger and both male and female have tusks, while Asian elephants are a little more festive. Though Asian elephants are smaller, they can still get up to being around 6,000 pounds. And for some perspective, 6,000 pounds is roughly 20 million pugdiks. Periyar may have been a lengthy seven hour journey to reach, but the memories of all the wildlife I saw will surely last longer. From the hefty gower to the pissing boar, this adventure leads me to conclude that I enjoy- Oh, I saw a tiger too. 
Ah, that was probably worth mentioning that I enjoyed this nature 